Hi everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I'm going to show you how you can get rid of these remotes that control your fan and you can install one of these into the wall and it also comes with one of these receivers that go up in the fan there in the ceiling. You can see it has the four pins here that you can program it with. These are the same four pins that you can program into your fan that you probably have in your house. This one is down, down, up, down. It's a one, two, three, four. Has the same one right there. And then you also have the same thing on this that goes into the wall. And all you have to do is replace your switch in the wall, which you probably have to keep on so that it stays powered so that you can control your fan. Well, I can replace that with a remote and then you can control everything there from the wall. We'll open this up. We'll see what it looks like. It even has a little switch right here that acts like an on off, but then you can program your fan and all the speeds right from the wall. Opening it up, you can see there is a green wire, which obviously goes to our ground, but the other two wires are black, and these just go to the two wires that are gonna be on the back of your switch. Usually they're black, in and out. You can see a little diagram here that shows you how it's wired up to the receiver in the fan, which then controls the fan for the light and the fan speeds. But just in case you're wondering, it's usually power in, power out, and that's how we're gonna be able to connect this. Before you do any electrical work, you should always turn off the power to that circuit in your breaker box. And in case you don't have it labeled like it is here, the 15 amp breakers are usually to the lighting in your house. And then these 20 amp breakers usually go to the outlets that are in your wall. So if you don't have them labeled anywhere and you want somewhere to start, it's probably gonna be a 15 breaker that you can turn off for your light circuits. When we open up the wall here, you can see I have a red and a black don't worry, that is treated the same way. It's basically power in and power out going up to the ceiling. The circuit is connected and completed by the switch. So all we have to do is connect our two black wires to those two wires that we took off of our switch. And then we connect the ground to the ground. Then we can mount this in the wall and it should work. We already have it programmed. I said down, down, up, down. We have the same thing right here. And if everything is correct, we should be able to turn the light on just like that and the receiver that's already up in the fan has the same program as the switch. And now I can control everything from the wall and I can even control the fan and the different speeds. If you have any other questions, let me know. I have lots of videos about electrical work, drywall work, vehicles, and even family trips. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next build.